For over 20 years, the Thomas Wooden Railway has continued to put smiles on millions of children throughout the world. Over the last couple of decades, hundreds of Thomas's friends and rolling stock have been released. Many of these only lasted for a short while, and others have survived the test of time since day one. Join me every Friday as we spotlight one character a week. This is Character Friday. Hello guys, it's Annie Little Golden, or by my YouTube channel name, Mocha. And I'm just here to say that every Friday is a character Friday. Come on, Thomas, we gotta catch the hangry. Hangry, wait up! We're gonna be in a popular YouTube channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to another character Friday! This is episode 146, and today we have none other than the But this guy is nothing like those crazy twins. A more quieter type of agent, Bert is blue with red and yellow lining. He also has a new thing up on the side, as one of the words are of steel inscribed on his tender. Accustomed to usually minding his own business, Bert always gets the job done. And as long as he's being treated with respect, he doesn't really seem to mind about doing what has to be done. He just isn't a complainer, which is definitely a characteristic I can appreciate about him. Based off the Ravenglass and Eskdale Railways River Hurt, Bert is probably most known due to his television special debut in the Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure, because most younger Thomas enthusiasts may not remember him from the actual Railway book series. However, Bert was originally first seen in a Railway series book entitled Small Railway Engines, and he had a cameo in Oliver the Western Engine, Duke the Lost Engine, Jock the New Engine, and Wilbur the Forest Engine. Speculations is that he will also be seen in the 20th season of the Thomas and Friends TV series. A piece of trivia that you know is that Bert has black wheels in the railway book series while in the television series he has supposedly blue wheels. Something that you may also find interesting is that Bert has the same whistle sound supposedly as Mighty Match but in a slightly different pitch. Now I'm not entirely sure about that but I'd love to get some confirmation if any of you can let me know. If you're interested in learning more about the history of Bert, I would totally recommend reading some of the original Railway series books, if you can get your hands on them. Bert looks to be another great addition to the Thomas and Friends franchise, and I definitely hope they continue to explore his character in the future. Thanks for watching, and remember that every Friday's a character Friday.